President Biden's $1.9 trillion coronavirus relief bill heads back to the House today after it, the Senate passed it in a straight party line vote on Saturday. No Republicans voted for the stimulus. It follows changes made to appeal to some centrist Democrats by taking out the $15 minimum wage. A final House vote on the relief is expected tomorrow, and it should head to President Biden's desk by Tuesday night. Joining me right now is Iowa Senator, Senate Judiciary Committee ranking member and member of the Senate Finance and Budget Committees, Chuck Grassley. Senator, it's great to see you this morning. Thanks very much for joining us. So is this how we are going to be governing? Is this the new normal? Uh, pass things with absolutely no Republican support? Uh, on reconciliation, that's possible. But if they don't do away with the 60-volt requirement, every other piece of legislation will have to be bipartisan. This one could have been bipartisan. In fact, we had 48 out of 49 Republicans vote for a, uh, a package that was needed. It was targeted. It would have been about uh, a third the cost of this one. And, and it got 48 out of 49 votes. That could have been passed uh, a month ago and, uh, and have uh, the people that need the help get the help. But what's in there, yep. the, two -thirds, the two thirds beyond that is just a wish list for a lot of liberal things that the Democrats couldn't accomplish otherwise. Right. And that includes things like the $350 billion that is going to the states and the municipalities, $350 billion in state and muni aid, or the $170 billion for schools, $130 billion K-12, $40 billion for college, or $50 billion for rental, homeowner, and homeless assistance, or maybe there's health care, uh, the biggest expansion of Obamacare ever, 100 percent COBRA subsidies to September 30th. Uh, and then there's, of course, the, the arts and humanities, museums and, and, and the rest. 